you're driving along the highway and you see uh, an emergency vehicle up on the right shoulder, are you complying with the law and slowing down and moving over? Are you using a GPS with your phone hooked up through, you know, Android Auto or CarPlay or whatever Apple's device is? Well, soon uh, you'll be getting notifications through Google. I believe right now, Waze is going to tell you when there is an Illinois State Police officer stopped on the side of the road, either helping with an emergency or uh, moving, uh, you know, to tell you that there's debris in the roadway in certain areas. Uh, very useful, but I would imagine some civil libertarians still kind of freaked out about all the GPS stuff. All right, it is Illinois in Focus Daily. I'm Greg Bishop. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell with america's talking network every morning waking you up uh giving you stuff to, to start your day so illinois state police uh joined the governor yesterday to discuss uh, a new initiative uh that uh, they're partnering with google public sector and ways so that google maps can have updated information for drivers uh so here's uh, illinois state police director brendan kelly talking about this yesterday during a news conference since, uh, since i've been director of the illinois state police i've been to uh, since I've been director of the Illinois State Police, I've been to way too many hospitals across the state, stood by way too many hospital beds, and cried and prayed with way too many families, and spoke at way too many funerals, in part because of life-altering and sometimes deadly crashes that violated the move-over law. One life, one injury, one crash is too many. Every time move over crashes are preventable if people simply slow down and move over. As chair of the move over task force signed into law by the governor, the ISP and our first responder partners looked to technology for a way to keep our troopers and the public safe. Thanks to our partnership with Google Public Sector and the Waze app, drivers now can have advanced warning when ISP officers are handling a crash or dealing with a car broken down on the shoulder or debris in the roadway. This means the preventability of a crash can increase and the risk to our officers and motorists can decrease. Pretty, uh, pretty Serv neat there. I, I, I will say, I mean, sometimes when I'm on a road trip and I see, you know, a speed trap icon on the Google, uh, you know, map, <laughs> I take note of it. Uh, it's even now asking, is that speed trap still there? Uh, I, I kind of question that. I mean, is that legal to, it's like somebody holding up a, a sign, uh, you know, a mile ahead of a uh, DUI stop saying, hey, DUI stop, pull off uh, before you get there. It, I don't know the legalities of that, but regardless. Uh, so Google is now soon in the weeks ahead going to have this type of information that Illinois State Police is going to be providing. Again, uh, that type of information, uh, they're going to get a notice, slow down, move over, about crashes, traffic stops, motorists, assists, debris in the roadway, all of that being generated by Illinois State Police. Uh, that message, along with the officer's GPS coordinates, are being fed to a Google Cloud where they transform it into uh, and send it to Waze. As drivers approach the GPS location of the ISP trooper, they will see a police crash or disabled vehicle icon on the screen of their map and receive an alert, slow down and move over. So I think as it is right now, uh, it's more, uh, you know, Google anal uh, analysis of traffic patterns that might show, you know, the highway area is red. It's pretty accurate. Uh, sometimes I do see, you know, construction sign pop up and maybe IDOT's working to provide that information. Uh, but uh, getting these, you know, short duration types of incidents, crash or debris, chunks of tires in the road, which are always a, a frustration, especially if there's high speed traffic moving around. Uh, but it'll be interesting. Now, what about the notifications? Um, the, the, the director of the state police talked about, you know, listen, people, even if they don't get these notifications, even if they're not using their phone uh, and get the notification uh, through their GPS hooked up to their car which, by the way, it's illegal to drive with the phone in your hand. Uh, definitely just plug it in and if you got a modern vehicle, but some people don't want that. They don't want all the bells and whistles and all the tracking that happens there. Uh, I can definitely uh, uh, sympathize with that uh, perspective. Um, but regardless, another conversation for another day. Maybe I take that to my private channel with Bishop on air. Uh, but, uh, you know, should people adhere to those notifications? Um how can they adhere to them when they're not using a device like this? Whether or not they get a notification, they still have to obey the law. 
And if they violated the law, whether it's failing to slow down or move over, uh, or, or they're speeding or driving recklessly, whatever the case may be, the law can still be appropriately, appropriately enforced. So this is not in any way a factor in determining uh, our enforcement. This is really designed to be prevention. This is designed to empower all of us that are on our interstates, on our roads, to be given information uh, ahead of time as they may be coming into an area where an officer is uh, conducting a traffic stop or is um, uh, had pulled someone over uh, maybe for a motorist assist or there's some debris in the road, a, a couple different scenarios that they could be uh, doing some type of uh, normal activity that they do on, on our interstates and being warned of that so that they can not have to get a citation. Uh, we want them to obey the law. We want them to slow down and move over. And this is designed to empower people to obey the law because when they obey this law, uh, they are safer, the driver is safer, and our troopers, other first responders, firefighters, EMTs, uh, workers that are out there on the road, they're all safer. So this is not a, a new way for us to issue more citations. This is a new way uh, to prevent uh, terrible things from happening and save lives. And I got to tell you, I mean, when I'm driving, uh, I, I feel like I'm a courteous driver. Uh, the other day I was on the highway and uh, saw a disabled vehicle on the right lane. And then uh, I was in the left lane and I was right up against a, a semi truck that was in the right lane. I could have, you know, sped up crazy to get in front of the semi truck so he could pull over. I didn't. I just slowly came back down, flashed my lights, and the semi truck came over and got in the lane and avoided uh, the the uh, disabled vehicle that was on the right shoulder. You know, being a courteous driver is not difficult, right? And seeing emergency vehicles on the side of the road, construction crews on the side of the road, slow down, move over. I mean, it's the law in Illinois. Um, more coming, though, of course. Right now, Waze has it, uh, but uh, Director Kelly talking about how they're going to continue to expand this. So we hope every single app that um, has the ability to provide this type of notification, we hope that is the trend. But we have, have to start somewhere, and we had a good... Uh, malleable and uh, cooperative uh, partner with the Waze app and with Google. So we began with Waze. Uh, the, the platform and the structure was there to do that. Uh, we're moving on very shortly to uh, to Google Maps. Uh, that's what's next, and that should be coming uh, here shortly. We're, we're excited about that. And then we really hope this becomes the standard. Uh, this should be the way it's done on every, every app that uh, people are using when they're driving. And this is something that we hope is not just uh, used in the state of Illinois, but is uh, something could, that can happen across the entire country. We're not the only state that's dealing with this very difficult uh, public safety challenge. Since 2019, two Illinois State Police troopers have been killed, nine seriously injured, 51 others injured in move over crashes uh, so that's just a statistic from illinois state police uh, we'll see this uh, obviously um with state police providing their data to google i mean everybody else on the road is already providing their data to google if they have their phone in their pocket it's really just it's pretty advanced technology but it's also a spy device i mean let's just admit it right anyways all right uh like subscribe hit that notification bell Illinois in Focus Daily, each and every weekday morning, hooking you up with headlines you need to know. I'm Greg Bishop. Follow me anywhere. Just search Bishop on Air, and uh, we can connect that way.